More than one million people in seven countries ordered Apple's new iPhone within 24 hours of its release. Shares of Apple rose nearly 4%, and the new smartphone has a faster processor, a more powerful camera, and a voice-activated internet browser. Public libraries in Chicago might be getting a makeover. One library has opened a new section called U Media, digital library space for teens. It's filled with laptops, recording equipment, and game consoles instead of books. The area helps kids analyze computer media the same way they're taught to analyze what they read in books. U Media has been a success so far, and Chicago officials plan on installing it citywide. The future of social networking websites may depend on the games they feature. This is the finding of market analyzing firm Super Data. Sites like Google Plus are adding social games in order to attract more users. Facebook continues to be the most popular social networking site, but Google hopes to catch them. Super Data estimates that the social games market will reach $8.6 billion by 2014. <laughs> Here's the scoop. Courtney Clavon has our entertainment headlines. Heard a Beatle got married, right, Courtney? That is right. Former Beatle Paul McCartney and American heiress Nancy Chevelle have tied the knot. The couple had a 45-minute civil marriage ceremony in London and were showered with confetti from fans. Chevelle's understated above-the-knee dress was designed by McCartney's daughter, Stella. Guests of the ceremony included Ringo Starr and Barbara Walters. She is Chevelle's second cousin and introduced the couple. This ceremony was reminiscent of McCartney's first wife, Linda Eastman. He married her at the same place in 1969. This will be McCartney's third marriage and Chevelle's second. Michael Jackson's children, Prince, Paris, and Blanket, paid tribute to him at Michael Forever concert in Cardiff, Wales. Several performers took the glove-shaped stage, including Christina Aguilera, Leona Lewis, and CeeLo Green. The evening's performers chose to ignore the current manslaughter trial involving Jackson's physician, Conrad Murray, and singer Neo kicked off the night with a rendition of Billie Jean and said this is not about the trial, not about his death, but a celebration of his life in music. Other performers included Jennifer Hudson, LaToya Jackson, Gladys Knight, and Smokey Robinson. Beyonce performed by way of satellite video. More than 50,000 people attended the concert hosted by Fern Cotton and Jamie Foxx. Actress Zsa Zsa Gabor remains hospitalized following stomach surgery. The 94-year-old actress was in critical condition, but her doctors say they are guardedly optimistic about the prospects of recovery. Gabor was rushed to UCLA Medical Center after losing consciousness in her Bel Air home. She has been in the hospital several times since breaking her hip in July 2010. Oscar winner Shirley MacLaine has been selected to receive the American Film Institute's 40th Life Achievement Award. This award is the AFI's highest honor for a career in film. The president and CEO of AFI said the challenge will be how to fit her life into one evening because she's gone from movies to television to Broadway and books and beyond. McLean made her debut in Alfred Hitchcock's 1955 dark comedy, The Trouble with Harry. She has starred in fit more than 50 films, earned her six Oscar nominations, winning lead actress in 1983 for Terms of Endearment. She has also received seven Golden Globes. Dreamhouse has been in theaters for more than a week and has done poorly. So poorly that the film's director and six-time Oscar nominee Jim Sheridan wanted to have his name removed from it. Two people familiar with the action said Sheridan went to the Directors Guild of America to try to take his name off the credits. The DGA turned him down. Sheridan made his debut in 1989 with My Left Foot. Boxing robots defeated political intrigue at the box office. Real Steel was victorious over the Ides of March. We're punching guys bigger. You're gonna have to punch up. That's it. Nice. You too, old man? Huh. Hey, come on, let's get to work. Steel stars Hugh Jackman as a robot trainer and racked up more than $27 million. The movie earned positive reviews from nearly 60% of critics on the movie review site Rotten Tomatoes. The site also shows that 83% of viewers were impressed with the film. The Ides of March stars George Clooney and Ryan Gosling. It had a solid debut of $10.4 million. March is also considered to be an early Oscar contender. 
Dolphin Tail took third place with just over $9 million, while Brad Pitt's Moneyball came in fourth with $7.5 million. And the cancer movie 50-50 rounded off the top five with $5.5 million. That's the latest in Hollywood. Back to you. Aspiring musicians can showcase their talent at California State University, Northridge. Taylor Cage caught one performance during a noontime concert near the Plaza del Sol. Aspiring singer and songwriter Nyla Hammond performed an hour worth of songs at the noontime concert. The pop, jazz, and R&B artists want people to enjoy her music. Inspired to be positive, and because um, that's what my music represents. Also performing with Nyla was fellow musician Chris Lightfoot. Chris played the percussion along to Nyla's music. Noontime concert is a one-hour concert from noon till one. Kevin Kastesh, who helped put the event on, says performances that are showcased during the concerts vary. And next week we have a steel drum band, we had a house music DJ, a rock band another week, so it's very diverse. Nyla's performance included songs she wrote, like Rise and Fall, and her newest song, My Window. This is my window, I see my own The audience danced and sang along to the music. Cory Boulet, who's friends with Nyla, see great things in her future. I told my friends to come see her today, but she really needs to be recognized because she's, she's going to be famous one day. Nyla's music is influenced by two artists. I love Corinne Bailey Ray, and uh, I think she keeps it classy, and I really like that. Um, and I also like Indy Ari, because she has positive music as well. After the concert, Nyla greeted people from the crowd. She hopes one day her music will inspire others. To become a performer for noontime concerts, you must submit a video showcasing your performance. The video will then be uploaded to a YouTube channel where students can choose their favorite artist. The concerts are every Thursday up until November 17th. In Northridge, I'm Taylor Cage reporting for Valley View News. Major League Baseball playoffs are in full swing, plus we have a report on a new burger joint in town. That's coming up after the break.